Talking about Boston Fashion, we've got this. I think I might have talked about this before in another show, but White Mountaineering are collaborating with Uniqlo, um, a, a kind of premier kind of outdoor um out well, yeah outdoor wear sort of uh japanese fashion brand well known they make really expensive amazing um you know clothing and jackets that retail upwards of like 600 dollars and shit so for them to do a collaboration with uniqlo for me is perfect because it allows me to purchase and afford the jackets that they make of course it's not going to be the same quality as the stuff that they do but the great thing with uniqlo obviously be it being a japanese retailer and a japanese brand is that they still provide you with some level of quality like the jeans i have the t-shirts i have the underwear the socks i still have that you buy in a pack and whatnot um they're still bulletproof i still wear them to this day so the quality that they're able to produce and the for the how low the retail prices are definitely goes to show me or give me confidence that if i do end up purchasing this white mountaineering stuff it's definitely going to be of good quality and the range is just too good to turn down because again to be able to get a piece of white mountaineering clothing in my wardrobe um you know from the regular mainline brand would require me to maybe you know take out a couple of loans so be able to do this is fucking sick to see so let's see the collection itself da -da 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 courtesy of the unico website i think it's going to come out october 20th if i'm not mistaken um it's an image here for the men's stuff you've got this jacket of course which is a stand-up piece something i've got my eye on the men's um the, what's it, the men's hybrid oversized parker it comes in a, gr a green olive green a navy and a black and obviously for kind of difference and to kind of mix up my wardrobe because i've got too many black jackets i'm definitely going to either go for the navy or the olive of that one that's definitely one of my standout picks that i've seen um and then of course um from then on it'd probably be one of these fleeces i'm not really a big fan of this sort of like inners i've got a few of them i had a couple when i used to kind of wear that sort of style coat but these sort of like um um collarless inner things that people like what they call here they call it a light down oversized jacket i guess you can for 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 this man's white for this white mountain area piece it seems like this is oversized and maybe it can be worn as a layer on top but usually this type of jacket are usually worn as a lining inside for like a, a kind of a show jacket that you want to maybe beef up a bit but i like this fleece i think this fleece is banging again any color but black just to kind of mix it up and make it a far more interesting thing to kind of purchase the navy um, whatever that creamy color is and this kind of white slaty you know it's probably going to get stained super easily but these colors are really nice and then you've got this white mountaineering white mountaineering fleece oversized jacket too again look at the prices like you know apart from that hybrid jacket which is probably worth it over 100 quid everything's under 100 really really good prices in that um sorry and that fleece is 29 pounds 90 like so good but yeah this is really nice as well I like the look of this it reminds me a little bit of something that you'd find from sakai it's got a kind of sakai flavor of it with how this it how kind of the paneling is done here with the zips and shit that's really nice and again the olive green color is definitely the probably the better color to get out of that one um they've got of course the kids section there i'm not gonna fit into none of that you got here a bit of white mountaineering um yusuke aizawa born in 1977 in the uh, graduated from the tama art university with a degree in textile design he founded white mountaineering in 2006 which is shown in paris fashion week since 2016 aizawa has designed for a variety of brands around the world and he's visiting press professor at tama art university so he went back to his roots you got the women's collection too which i'm sure is going to be popular with some people if i i guess this is a their version of the over this parker right so it comes a bit shorter it looks like um the pockets are a bit different at the front doesn't have the zip saw pocket here in the slit um the sort of like um yeah the pockets at the front are a bit smaller too different yeah different shape i'm assuming the what is it a gusset or whatever the the sleeve the size of the sleeve is going to be a little bit bigger it looks like compared to the men's one um and the colors are slightly different too you've got this nice sort of like white stony concrete -y kind of color you've got this brown and then you've got this black of course um let's take that out of the way go away you've got this um white mountaineering fleece oversized mock again maybe something some dudes can maybe fit into and would like the look of i'm not really a big fan of that to be honest is that it for the women's just those two items mad isn't it not that much really so it's mostly a men's collection but in the lookbook looks like there's loads of stuff they wear okay maybe it's just the women here is wearing a guy's thing yeah she, i think she's just wearing a guy's fleece there so i guess most of it is unisex because everyone's wearing a bit of everything as you can see the lady's jacket here the the sleeve is super big in it compared to the sleeve that you're going to get here on the men's jacket so that's cool to see um so hopefully when that drops in stores as like i said i think it's going to be dropping in when is it let's see da, 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 da. i think it's october yeah let's just say october 28th actually let's quickly check that oh, why does it do that go away 
Let's quickly check that interview actually that he said with um, Uniqlo and see what he had to say about things. I'm curious to see what he's saying. Let's see what he said here. Hopefully it's not some video shit. Um, White Mountaineering is the collection. How do you first collaborate with uh, Uniqlo? I've always had a theme, a family in mind, so I thought it would complement Uniqlo's life and philosophy to be a made for all, which matches my idea as a fashion designer. Okay, good to know. How do you translate the style of white man's theory, which crosses the urban life to the outdoors? He says sports and outdoors can be really incorporated into your daily life, such as going for a park or going for a walk. The collection isn't just about creating fashionable clothes, but also incorporating functionality for easy moments, easy movements, sorry, and details for outdoor garments, such as the textures and the heat retention to Technology. I went to put the technology and the knowledge I had gained through creating outdoor wear into this collection. Um, the, the what you call it says the way you value your communication that can't be created through clothing is impressive. I've worked with various people over the years, and in fashion, it is very important facilitator of communication. I think clothing should also be considered a common language in the same way as music and art. After this collection is released, I would be very happy to see someone wearing a collection as part of a casual outfit. Oh yeah, for sure. So he doesn't want people just posing in the woods somewhere, pretending to pick up some berries. He wants you to wear it day to day and actually enjoy it. So yeah, big up, big up. Um, Big up Yusuki Aizawa. I can't wait to wear your flipping collection, mate. It looks absolutely amazing. I love everything about it. Let's quickly check out the lookbook. Again, the men's jackets. Are, that jacket's going to get copped in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. But yeah, you've got the fleece here looking pretty. Yeah, that fleece in, I think, again, the black is nice, but those two colors are definitely the best, especially for black skin. That kind of stone white color and that cream. Oof. Bang in. And then you've got, of course, that over jacket, that oversized um, over, oversized um, down jacket looks better in the pictures here in the lookbook, but I'm not sure if it's going to look as great in pitch in real life. The kids' jackets look cool, but that parka, come on, man. That's got me all over it, mate. That parka looks fucking sick. Um, the women's jacket, again, looks quite nice as well. It's got a kind of a Balenci feel to it in terms of the parkas they make right there's a parka that they did that's kind of hanging off the shoulders that kind of looks similar to this and um, i think maybe 2017 collection or something oh holding hands with the kids and whatnot it's nice yeah that fleece that yeah nat jacket so these are definitely the standouts the two fleeces and the oversized parka are definitely the standouts in this collection oh that kind of uh mock thing looks much better in this picture isn't it wow she's styling it hard with this pleated skirt the socks looks fucking sick isn't it but yeah, can't wait to see the stuff in store when it's finally available on October 20th. Keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for that. 